Hi guys, this is Noiser, and I was so excited when I saw the post on Void's Twitter that the new dev blog was out. And this is really something. The level of detail and the passion that seemed to go into making this title is just unprecedented in my opinion. I've seen this dedication for detail in one other title, and that is the VR FPS Virtual Warfighter. Although that is developed part-time by just two developers and cannot really be compared to this title. But the passion for realistic details is something they really have in common. These in-game clips really look amazing to me, and although short and not showing much, this is very typical for smaller studios and indie developers in my opinion. They don't have an organization that can put developing aside to focus on the marketing side of a release, not this early in the process anyway. And if this was a AAA title, I'm sure we wouldn't know a fraction of the details that Void have shared with us so far in these dev blogs. Sure, they are sharing things that might change, perhaps even prove hard or impossible for a full release, but I for one am so excited to be able to follow a project like this while waiting for the chance to play it. The AI is one thing that they bring up in this dev blog and showcase it a bit with this video of a suspect rolling behind cover and an AI officer returning fire as the player switch weapons. The AI will apparently be quite advanced and is something the team has been working hard on the last year. The SWAT officers will for example use realistic breaching techniques and hold smart angles while waiting for commands. Suspects that are not restrained might get up and find a weapon to fight back, switching positions and stances while peeking to make themselves a harder target to hit, and so on. Another thing they talk about is the motion capture which looks out of this world, and the impressive 128 men, women and children scan for character models. So we can expect a wide array of lovingly crafted characters with unique looks which of course will add to the immersion. Apparently, the levels they have created can easily handle 50 to 70 AIs, and some might wonder how come we get all these in-depth details, but still little to no gameplay. Well, to say that I know why would be a lie. But considering how often we see AAA titles showing off gameplay at some event a year before release, only to later find out that the finished product don't really look the same, I don't think we should be disappointed about not seeing gameplay yet. This is something we will never see from a smaller studio. And the reason is quite obvious. Smaller studios don't have the time, money or resources to specially craft one small portion of gameplay to run smooth just for a demo. They will focus on the actual game and proof of concepts instead, which often is what we see in these cases. Short clips of them testing out and finding out that one small element they have been working hard on actually works in-game, and therefore will stay in-game. Instead, we will perhaps read about visions that might change a bit, or features described that will change as they realize it didn't work as they expected. In many AAA titles, we get that vision as a scripted gameplay instead, and therefore feel a bit cheated sometimes when the final product don't look as good. Void talked a lot about their incremental system for leaning, operating doors, and controlling the speed of your character. For example, as I understand it, they now realized it was smarter to have five different movement speeds to be able to synchronize your movements with the team, and I would expect more changes like this in the future, as they have been very open with what they want to do, but perhaps won't reach all the way with everything, of course. When it comes to recoil, they seem to really have put an effort into that as well, with realistic shakes and jolts when guns are fired, with individual values depending on gun and attachments. In my experience, at least when it comes to multiplayer, hit registration is the most important thing though, and something that the community will be very concerned about if it doesn't seem right. And yes, the community will often complain too much about hit registration as well, as it is never our own fault when we miss a target, uh, right? It will be interesting to see and hear more about this visually awesome recoil system when it comes to hit registration further on. Because hitting what you're actually aiming at is of course important in a shooter with a competitive element. The most important thing, however cool a visual recoil can be to add a sense of realistic intensity. Well, that's all for this one folks. What are your thoughts about this update from the devs? What do you think about what we actually get to see in these clips? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below and please give me a thumbs up or down so I get some sort of feedback on this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to get notified the second I return with some news about this. I'll be back very soon again and until then, I will keep being ready. Noiser, I mean, hello.